The final components in our one-line diagram are the breakers. If you've been following along, breaker configuration is very similar to the sources and meters, but with a bit of automation. In the bottom left of the page, I have a tab called Equipment. This has a list of the different types of electrical components available to me. If I expand breakers, I see the five breakers that I've added to my project. I can drag out the utility breaker directly from here and connect it to my utility bus. But you notice this component doesn't look like a medium voltage breaker. The component associated with this equipment was set in the profile editor or the IO device manager, and we'll cover that process in their respective videos. If I want to change my component, I can right click it in the breaker menu, select change associated component, and pick a new component. In this case, I'll change to a medium voltage ANSI breaker. Since I've changed my breaker, I'll replace the existing one and also attach a horizontal bus that will serve as the main bus in my medium voltage switchgear. At this point, my configuration is complete. I can save my page and view it in the web HMI. That's all that's necessary to build a basic one-line diagram. However, there are a few issues to consider before I finish laying mine out. Most importantly, this process only works when I have a standard breaker that includes the standard breaker item names for close status, trip status, earth switch position, and rack position. If this might be you, uh, join me in the next video where I'll investigate some more advanced component configuration. Otherwise, you're welcome to finish out your one-line diagram. Either way, thank you.